So guys, what's going on? It's Kurzer Jack here, back in brand new video on this channel. And today, Swansea are back in action under the lights where they face a Norwich City side who sits six in the table. Now, Norwich City are classed as our bogey team. Although we have beaten a few times, like we have beat them last time we met them 3-0 at Carra Road. And the last time we faced them at home, we lost 1-0 in the first minute thanks to Timu Puki effort off the bar and into the back of the net. So... Yeah, hopefully we can do Norwich over again, but we are going into this game on very good form now, so we're actually finding our feet, because last time out, we beat Millwall 3-0 at the Den, I mean, that's an unexpected result, but two wins in a row going into this game, and both of them being 3-0 as well, so we're scoring some goals for fun at the minute, and we're on a two-game winning streak, Norwich also going into this game with a win as well, after they beat Birmingham City last time out, and hopefully we can keep that good form going. Come on the Swans. Okay then, so I've just seen the team now. We've got Carl Rush with in goal. We've got a back line of Josh Key, Ben Kabanga, Harry Darling and Bashir Humphreys. We have got um, Charlie Patino, Matt Grimes and Jamie Patterson. And we've got a front three of Jamal Lowe, Liam Cullen and Jerry Yates. So no much different of a team to when we fielded out against Millwall. Mikola Kuharovic on the bench. He got his first goal in the club on the weekend and also Matt Grimes gone off the mark for the first time this season in the league as well so yeah, and also Jamal Lowe made it back to back league goals for him so hopefully he can make it three goals in a row hopefully it's not the pen spot this time otherwise it'll be pens like jams so yeah hopefully it's three wins in a row I mean Norwich got a few players we've got to look out for tonight Adam Ida is on the bench for him but he may come on at one point in the second half, especially if we're winning the game or the Norwich are trailing. But we've got Gabriel Sarrar and Jonathan Rowe who are starting and we need to keep a close eye on these ones. And we're underway under the lights and also fair play to the Norwich fans who came all this way on a Wednesday night. Long way to go that, but yeah bit of a threat already from Jordan Rowe. As I said earlier, gotta keep a close eye for him. Go on, go on, go on, Jams, yes! 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 Goal for Jams! Aha, it wasn't a penalty this time, come on! Well, what a start that is! Jamal Lowe giving us the early lead. Matt Grimes intercepts the ball, gives it to Jamal Lowe, and it's the third goal in the row with Jamal Lowe. Come on! You're a destructible. Always believe it. Oh dear. Equaliser goal for Norwich City. Gabriel Sarrar diving header. Well, Jonathan Rowe was causing a bit of chaos. He was closing him down enough. He gives room to the pass and crosses ball in. And Gabriel Sarrar is there to the diving header to equalise the Canaries. So half time, Swansea Duck on team, Swansea 1, Norwich 1. Obviously, Gabriel Sarrar cancelling out Jamal Lowe's opener. I mean, we haven't been too bad for this half, I've got to say. But the only thing I can say is uh, for the goal that we conceded, um, Jonathan Rowe, we've just been too nice on him, letting him pass the free man on his left hand side, let a cross in, and Gabriel Sarrar there to head her in. Obviously, nice easy diving header for him that was. and you know, it was a nice goal as well from Jamal Lowe, first proper goal other than a penalty. But you know, got some game change as well on the bench. We've got Mikola Kuharovic um, to use. Liam Walsh is also returning as well. He's back on the bench. So, yeah, nice to see Liam Walsh back. So, just hopefully now, second half, we can um, get the three points, make it three wins in a row. I mean, Norwich on paper, I would be happy with a point, but still, a win would be better. Right, Luke from here, STFC Vlogs, what do you think of the first half? Um, I think it's been a good half to be fair, I think we have actually played quite well. You know, I still think defensively there are some issues, cleaning yeah, the ball out from the back. I thought we were too nice for the equaliser goal. Yeah, and I know, you know, you know, before we went one up, I thought we were the better side, I thought we created a lot of chances. I think Jamalo has been good in this game, but the yeah. goal. Yeah. Um, I think Grimes has been good in the field. Yeah. Um, you know, overall, we have actually played well at, you know, at times in this game so far, but... You know, yeah, we, as you said, you know, we let Norwich in way too easily. You know, it's a soft goal to concede as well. Yeah, free man on his left. Yeah, free man, it? unmarked. You know, it is a shit goal to concede, really. But, yeah. you know, what can you do? Yeah. But so far, you know, it's one all. You know, I'll take it. It's probably yeah. fair at this moment in time. Well, I would personally take a point against Norwich, but 
a win would be better. Yeah, yeah I would take a point, but I think we've kind of left to win this game. Yeah. Right about it. I think we have enough attacking threat going yeah. forward. I think maybe bring on Cooper Rabbit, who obviously got a goal last weekend. Yeah. So I feel like bringing him on, you know. Yeah, so we got Liam Walsh that could come on. Yeah, Liam Walsh. Turn, I'm yeah. surprised he's on the bench, to be fair. But yeah, I, I, yeah I'd say bring on Cooper Rabbit. I think he could probably get a goal yeah. Yeah. Get on the weekend. Yeah. And yeah, we'll be yeah, jolly. Bournemouth and Norwich City here, as, as we speak there, about to make a double substitution. Adam Ida, one of the players coming on as well, who is pretty dangerous. And also the yellow cards are flying in for the Swans, so I'd be making changes as soon as possible on this stuff. But that road to Sarah, the goal scorer, swing it in. Lovely. Goes back to Sarah. Sarah, oh, better. Go on. Go on. So they made three subs. They've got um, Adam Ida, Placetta, and Ono Hernandez coming on as well. Ono Hernandez, another good player on his day as well. Well, it looks like we've been forced to a change here. Ben Cabango looks like he's about to come off injured. I think Josh Tymon's going to come on for him. But yeah, first change of the night. Ben Cabango off for Josh Tymon. The injury list just doesn't get easier now, doesn't it? Oh, yes, 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 again. Next couple of substitutions now where Jay Fulton and Ollie Cooper are set to come on. So there we are guys, it has finished and Swansea Dockham same Swansea City 2, Norwich City 1 and it's three wins in a row for us. I mean who would have saw that coming after that rotten start we had this season. We have now won three in a row and the Michael Duff era as well have been running now and anyway Norwich usually class our bogey team but not so much in a minute as we've now beaten them two times in a row so yeah what a result that is Jamalo on a score sheet again third game in a row um, I mean I thought second half we were a bit slow so many yellow cards flying for us so many chances for Norwich Adam Ida had a golden chance as well for them but Bashir Humphrey slammed home the winner and we win the game 2-1 three wins in a row under Michael Duff now and we travel to Plymouth next on the weekend, which we are going to. And Home Park is not an easy place to go to these days. But hopefully now we can make it four wins in a row before the international break. But anyway, the next time we're back down Swansea, which is home, we have got a very big game, Leicester City. And that won't be easy at all. So, yeah, if you want to see more content, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And, yeah, peace.